This is Twit. Uh, give us a 30,000 foot view. Uh, uh, what is What problem is this solving? Well, I think even though we've reached this stage in technology now where, you know, it's come a long way in the last couple of decades, we've still got this problem insofar as we have iOS phones, Android phones, Linux, Mac, PC. And in terms of developers, they've still got to compile different editions of their program and kind of work around the limitations of, you know, legacy operating systems, really. These OSs were designed to, you know, connect to the Internet as an afterthought, really. It's not something they were built from the ground up to do. So Friend, essentially, I mean, if you want it summed up really simply um, our goal is to increase access so that's to help developers get free of the shackles of traditional operating systems and also allow users to use their same applications and access their files on any device no matter where they are and whatever they're using okay and so you, what you've done is you've essentially rebuilt an operating system in, uh, in not entirely in javascript it's, i mean what, what's the technology here what, where, what have you brought it all down to JavaScript, but we've got a C kernel, um, which obviously gives it a lot of speed. And that was one of the first things that really impressed me about the Friend platform when I saw it. I mean, you know, I, I first came across this product about two years ago when the guys were demoing it in Norway. And I didn't realize just how powerful web technology had got today. I mean, we have applications that run inside the Friend desktop that are made in HTML5 that are, you know, the speed of full proper desktop applications. You, can, you can't tell the difference between them today. Oh, well, uh, Hagne, you want to carry that up forward and talk more about the, the technology? Well, uh, sure, thank you. Um, so I think it was in 2014, I was sitting in my office and having done a lot of web development since 2001, I noticed that the technologies had gone to a point where there were no limit to what you could do. And uh, be it manipulating a lot of data just inside the browser or uh, streaming data from a server. But I realized that uh, the web platforms that are, uh, were available were uh, web applications based on, on complicated stacks uh, in the server space. And so um, what we have done is that we've taken the idea of a traditional operating system and broken it up into components, some which can reside uh, on the internet in, in, you know, in what you'd call the cloud or in server space. And then the other ones that can run on your machine using the technologies that we have today. So uh, it's not exactly a desktop operating system because you don't actually have to use the desktop at all. You can use the, the, the framework that uh, allows this technology to work just to distribute your application onto the internet. And uh, so the first phase of this product is to show people that it can be done and that they can actually have their entire workflow uh, in the cloud, in their browser tab, or on their phone or, or other devices. But in the future, it's also a deployment strategy to give people easy access to applications and give developers um, an easy way to distribute their applications to multiple target platforms. Okay, and so what I understand that I'm basically uh, developing stuff in yet another language then, if I want to build applications, uh, but is there already a way to use existing applications? Oh, uh, we're not going for uh, changing the programming languages at all. Uh, actually, uh, what we're doing quite a little bit of work on is to make sure that we support all the existing languages that are out there and the existing APIs as well. So you have to see Friend as a, a manager of Windows, um, Windows flowing on your screen coming from different technologies. So we're managing Windows applications, we're managing different types of web applications and letting you run them without having to install anything. Uh, also without having to necessarily log into anything because the system uh, takes care of the, the, the login um, uh, routines. And so, so um, it, it's not to change what people are doing today, but it's giving people a channel where they can access users and where users can access applications from a wealth of different sources. 